Melanation Nation gang, which pop, which pop, which pop, you already know, it's your girl, the newbie, the Nova, back with another one. Y'all, if y'all hear my neighbors, I'll start arguing. My bad, y'all. It seems like every time I come to record, something is going on outside. But yeah, I just got up work, and you already know, might smoke a little bit. We got a little smoothie tonight. Um, It's going to be a Spirit Baby reading. Today is... 1018, 743 on the Klesnock. You feel me? You feel me? You feel me? I do got a free pool because um I found these cars. I had rearranged my house again. I know, like I said, OCD be real, real bad. <laughs> but um, yeah, I rearranged my house and I found these spirit baby cars on the side of the bed up under the um kicker and shit. And I was like, mmm. Not supposed to come last night and do it, but. A little bit too tired, so we're gonna go into tonight. If you are no subscriber, hi, my king, my queen, my love, or my bang, which pumping. And if you haven't subscribed already or liked already, what are you doing? Go ahead, smash the button. You need to be smashing, all right, because you're gonna love it here. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> bonjour, bon oui, bonjour, depending on what time you are watching this. Um, the two songs that I got tonight when um I was channeling as well was Ashanti. They're both Ashanti songs. It was movies and over. Okay, she was like, um, I wanna be like the girls in the movies that have a man so in love to make him jump to his knees. Yeah, there's no need in that. No, see, there's no reason why that I can't sleep at night. Cause there's a feeling you giving me. I'm almost ready to tell the truth. I'm in love with you and I want to tell you. I'm glad that you're here. Hey, and now we're face to face in the glimmer light. While I'm watching your eyes or watching mine. I'm laying here with you. Feel so good, feel so Good. Hey. Holding hand in hand, we ain't got to worry, we ain't got to worry about time, okay? Um, The way you smile at me, I already see, you know what it means. Okay, like, you like the way somebody smile at you, or I feel like this is like a, um, a postpartum spirit baby reading as well, like you already had the baby type of thing because of the cards that did come out. So either like you like about your partner smiles at you, and that's what got you in this predicament, or something about your baby smiling at you. You want to be like the girls in the movies, like you want to just be so in love with your baby, so in love with your partner, and have like that whole picket fence type of shit going on. You feel me? And then um the other song I was getting was over again. Um she was like, I can't believe that it's over, baby. After all the bruises on my heart you gave me. She said, um, she said, I stick, she said, I stuck and tried, but I'm tired. Now it's over, babe. It's over, baby. And she was just talking about the ups and downs of their relationship. She's like, I never thought you'd do this to me. And again, Monica on the screen, a dozen roses. Boy, you so fly. You remind me of my Gucci shoes. Okay, some of y'all might have like a real busy baby daddy or like he just, some out in the streets, rip around the streets. I'm hearing busy body. Like my grandma, grandma always say like a busy body. I mean, your baby daddy or somebody be a busy body. But yeah, let's tap into this prison and we're going to get into the cards. Well, you remind me of the very first time. You remind me of the time we made love. Just like the 25 days of Christmas. I can't wait to wake up. Oh, you got a heart of gold, baby. You should know. <laughs> God grant us the serenity of things that we cannot change. The courage to change things that we can. And the wisdom to know the different yards. I said God grant us the serenity of things that we cannot change. The courage to change things that we can. And the wisdom to know the different yards. Please give us clear messages tonight for this postpartum spirit baby reading for my collection. Ashe, ashe, ashe. Anybody mocking us or sending us any evil eye energy please return that shit back to center with the intent of knowledge so that they can stop doing that shit i said anybody mocking us return our energy back to us and return the evil eye back to sender with intent of knowledge so that they can stop doing that shit 
Also, another day, y'all, because y'all know I'm like Miss Rose and it don't stay like lit like this. And I'm like, I had two lighters that was brand new. It's already gone. And I was hearing like, um, something about like you put somebody's flame out, like put somebody's flame out or some some of a flame being put out. Look, we are gonna get into this. But somebody said, like, don't put your leg down. Let your hair down. You're fine. They said, let your hair down. You fine. Okay. Um, and they like pleasure over business. Okay, they might take breaks from business to have pleasure or something like that. Okay, let me slide this back. We don't got no spizzles. Yeah. My bad, y'all. Let's get this shit together. I thought I was gonna have more room in this. I didn't know this was gonna be this big of a room. But yeah. Righteous is what righteous is what right O U S does. <laughs> so he's saying like you owe him i'm hearing um i'm here show me your price won't you bag it up you can hold my eyes now let's say you owe me something hey owe me back like you owe your rent owe me back like that money i spent owe me back <laughs> okay stop playing Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, love language, acts of service. So you might have a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Okay, they're acts, acts of service. Okay. It's how they show. Don't stop. I can take it harder, faster, deeper. What is the safe word? Okay, so y'all don't have no safe word. That's how y'all end up with this baby. Real deal is better natural than did up. Okay, so they say something about the way that you're natural or this was like a natural pregnancy or something. Or something like with this let your hair down. They like to see you in a natural element, a natural state. Like you ain't got to be all dressed up around them. Like you could just wear your little t-shirt, some shorts, your little muumu, some oversized pants and a t-shirt. You should his boxers and a beard. Like he don't give a fuck. Like you're fine. Like. I'm here in 21 Savage. He said, um, he was like, she, she more than a 10 than a dime. He said, Shotty, fuck all that makeup, you fine. He was like, you are the one. Yeah. He was like, I got to thank you. <laughs> He was like, somebody, I hope you ain't loving the crew. Yeah. Me at the crib. Come over to my place. Okay. Somebody wants you to come over to their place. And I'm like, come with me tonight for old time's sake. Okay. So some of y'all could be at y'all um six weeks or something. Somebody wants you to, could you, could you? Um, roll with me tonight. And I'm here in um, London, October. Come over to my place. Okay. Mindful. Be careful what you asking for. Yes, some y'all needed to be um, careful what y'all ask for. Hmm. Cause that's how y'all ended up with this baby period and some of y'all could have been doing yoga because it says modified it says yoga on it modified okay so, so while y'all was pregnant y'all was still doing it but y'all had to like modify some of the positions or something because of the baby bump but now that you done had this baby y'all can go all out so this man like let your hair down pleasure over business like we've been taking care of business this long i've been sitting here even being patient now bitch come on let that hair down Righteous is what right. <laughs> Righteous is what 
right o u s okay o u s o u s right o u s righteous right o u s <laughs> cuz that's the way i wrote it like they're like yeah oh what it says righteous is what right o u s okay like y'all let me get some <sighs> and like it's Shanti rain on me rain on me Lord, won't you come and take this pain from me I don't want to live I don't want to breathe till you just Yeah, something about when the baby came, something changed because it says there's a stranger in my house. Took a while to figure out. You back to sleep. Yeah, like somebody felt like the um, sexual energy changed after you had this baby, but it says be careful what you ask for. Something about something being modified. So this is whether or not you was pregnant or after the pregnancy, something. But somebody wants you to come out that shell and be back the person that you is. Yeah, it says now facing you or standing you. Yeah. They come into you now. Romance and family. Like they want to mix the romance and the family together. They don't want to just have it just one way. Oh, that's so cute. Unconditional love, PBJ. Like y'all go together like peanut butter and jelly. Okay. Stop playing. And then somebody could have also like tried to get y'all to be on some swinger shit or something. Cause there's a stranger in my house. Took a while to figure out. Like you, could, like I said in that one reading, like it's not the fact that your person really wanted to step out on you or something like that, but it's like they needed that sexual tension let off. So they went and did it with a person they was comfortable doing it with. Knew they was gonna get a certain type of release and knew it, they they wasn't gonna bring you back nothing. So it wasn't the fact like they loved that person or nothing like that. But that's the part of the codependency on that X. Go watch the um, Spirit Baby readings. Also, I do have playlists on my channel as well. So go check those out. We're going to tap back into this deck in just a second. I want to get into the cards that have fell up under the bed. We are 1228 minutes in. All right. All right. All right. So, let me get my little desk I had. So the first card I had got out was breastfeeding. All right. So something about breastfeeding. You guys are going to be breastfeeding this baby, all right? And just to let you know that you will have good lactation, okay? Breast milk, you will have good lactation. Also, you could be a country girl. It says tattoos, hands, feet, country girl. So something about you are a country girl. Okay, it says last generation, 1980 to 1915. Okay, so this card keeps coming out in my spirit, baby, readings for whatever reason. So something about reincarnated, so it's for sure coming back. All right, that was from um, 1890 to 1915. All right, and you will be at home when your water breaks. This um, energy will be surrounding you and help guiding you through your pregnancy as well. It says, damn, I can't believe I used to fuck with you, popping plan B's because I ain't trying to be stuck with you. Yeah, it says be careful what you ask for. Like somebody thought like it was a game, okay? Somebody thought this was going to be a game. So they, <laughs> I can't believe, like they sit here, um, <laughs> baby, 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 baby. Ashanti is popping on my shit tonight, okay? I love you. Baby, 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 baby. Somebody's name could be Nia or Long, because Nia Long is in this video, or they name could be Ashanti. Baby, 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 baby. I love you. <laughs> I'm like a lighter to my cigarette. Watch me smoke. I never knew another human life. To have a power to take over my soul, baby. Baby, 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 baby. 
Okay, you guys are going to be co-parenting. It says, um, children are not pawns. So, whatever this is, is co-parenting. So, again, be careful what you ask for because something is going to happen either while you're pregnant or after this pregnancy that's going to lead to a co-parenting situation because this is why this person wants you to come over. They want to let your hair down. They probably trying to prove to you that it wasn't nothing with this person or something like that. Take it how it resonates. But it's something that happened because it keeps coming out in these spirit baby readings. Okay, so go watch. Go go catch up. And it says, I'm his baby mama baby, slash baby daddy. We got no kids. Throw baby, throw baby. Okay, so it could have started off like on some like little oral sex type of stuff like that. Or this would, or that's all they could be doing with that other person. Okay, so they letting you know, like, I put a baby in you. I was just over here getting some fellatio from them. Like, it's not really that serious. Like, why are you tripping like that? And it's like, hell no. Like, you ain't going. <laughs> Shawty ain't going for none of that. You like, no. Mm-mm. I'm straight. And it says, little to no morning sickness, heart no negative. Okay. So this is going to be a definitely like you're not having no type of morning sickness. Okay. Or little to none. And then it says into the arts, Julie art. So some of y'all could be into the arts, Julie art, or your child will be into the arts or something like that. Or this is this person like that's super busy or something like your child's going to have many talents because y'all are talented. So this is like movies, films, modeling, drawing, crafting, um, architecture like anything that has to do with being hands-on okay designers of any sorts like however all right. and at the top of the deck we have in state born so whatever state that you are in right now that is the state that your child will be born in as well all right Into public speaking, making a difference. Your child will be into public speaking, making a difference, or you are into speaking, making a difference, or something. Take it how it resonates. Yeah, because it says big mouth on the other side of that as well. So being that child from the country, like y'all could have like very big personalities because y'all spend like a lot of time around each other, stuff like that. So everybody's real. Rambocious, I keep hearing rambocious, like very big personalities, big land, big houses, everything. Them here, house real big, cars real big, acres real big, money real big. I'm rich, big. I'm a real big time um, sacrifice. It's crazy how the people who don't want kids have the most kids, and it says snowing in my day. Every snowflake was different. Okay, so slow. I'm here slowly but surely. So slowly but surely, this is coming in. So it's like y'all could have been the people who didn't want kids, and y'all gonna end up with having the most kids. It's crazy how the people who says who don't want kids have the most kids. Snowing in my day, every snowflake was different. So again, this country type of life, like everybody's going to have a big personality. It's going to be a lot of kids. So everybody's going to try to be rambocious and like try to be, look at me, look at me, look at me, look at me. You're going to be over there like, oh my God, this is what this artistic thing is. And then your body is probably going to get so used to being pregnant or something like that, that you probably ain't going to have no more anything like that. Or at least with this first pregnancy or this pregnancy you just had, you really didn't have any. I heard every pregnancy is different. <clears throat> then patches can see my cowlick, okay? The genes, hereditary. So this person going to know that this is their child because they're going to have a certain type of cowlick that the men have in their family or something like that. But shall lay on the screen something in my heart? Something. Yeah, over dramatic. Managing emotions. So you could be over dramatic or something like that. It could be like a lot of fighting going on, or these kids are going to be over dramatic. Take it how it resonates. Science. Gifted in. Okay, your kids are going to be gifted in science. All right. 
baby boomer generation 1946 to 1964 okay another reincarnated soul so this could be twins or something like that that's being reincarnated take it how it resonates born with a silver spoon did a lot for this lifestyle yeah like i said house real big cars real big acre real big i'm rich bitch i'm a real big timer whoever this man is is a busybody yeah, I got the like it's just other stuff that is a factor. But he wanna show you that he does care. Or had his baby or family or his foundation with you so he can always have a part and tab on your life. But not like in a bad way, but like, you know, he don't want you go nowhere. Go watch that one read of this the other day. Every song I'm talking about don't go nowhere. That man do not want you go nowhere, child. Conception, first trimester, zero to three months, okay? Baby is 99.99% yours. Yeah, and I'm hearing early DNA tests. Okay, so like some of y'all might have enough money to get early DNA tests. I heard that y'all can do that now. Instead of waiting, they have a way that you can do it. Like, why are you still pregnant now? All right. Or it's like, as soon as you're like zero to three months, after having a baby, because that's enough time to have your six weeks, you're gonna be right back pregnant, right back pregnant. Like, I'm here, Irish twins type of shit. Irish twins, okay, it calls me out on both sides now. Yeah, mm. Fuck you back to sleep, girl. Don't you say nothing, don't you cry. Now. I'll never you back to sleep, girl. you back to sleep, okay. How is this man feeling about his baby mother? How is this man feeling about his baby mother? Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep the relationship going. Damn. So, yeah, something about, like I said, with them lighters. Something about the flame went out. The flame went out. Y'all gotta, y'all try to gotta ignite that flame. That's probably he trying to be like, he wants this pleasure over business. He he want to take that time off of work to try to pour into this. This might have something to do with leading to this stepping out or swinger lifestyle because the, the love is something about the flame going out. Okay? It also says true love in the reverse. Okay, so it's about like, um he never looked at you like a true love, but probably did ended up falling in love with you. Yeah, because it says honeymoon. Enjoy this bliss holiday together. Like, yeah, like so something about he never initially looked at you like that, but ended up falling in love with you. Had this honeymoon with you, had his date with you, like I said, this man doesn't want you to leave his life. So he had to think of something quick and fast. To make you stay and then even with that he's getting to see the other layers of you with that and getting to know you but it could come off as like too too much pressure on you and that is why it's causing a kind of strenuous thing on the relationship because it's like damn you want to try to get to know me try to test me and have me motherfucking pregnant and cheat like that's a lot and then you want to try to rekindle shit. And then the possibility of me getting pregnant again. <laughs> you look like you lose your rabbit ass mind. Like, Nick. Who is about to sign up for that? Like, that's what I'm hearing. Like, who in their right mind is signing up for that? <laughs> And then in the reverse, it says, let your friends help you. Yeah, y'all not letting nobody into, like, y'all business at this time because y'all probably let y'all friends and stuff into y'all business before and it didn't go right. Or it's just, like, they not part of y'all relationship, so why is it in y'all they business? Like, how y'all working on how to rekindle y'all relationship? Because maybe y'all friends witness a lot of stuff go down and play out and have a lot to say about the cheating and stepping out and whatever the fuck is going on. And they like, man, fuck that. I'm going to just work on this shit myself. Finance, career, passion. Yeah. Like I said, they want this pleasure over business. Like the finances ain't the issue. The finances ain't the issue. That came out in the reverse. They want that pleasure with you. They want that motherfucking pleasure over business. 
they want that pleasure over business. Like, that's their problem. They want you. Man, I want you. I want you. But I can't take it anymore. And you're the one that I live for. First time I saw your face, my heart just erased all the guys I knew before. You walked into my life. Hey, I was the time to never want for nothing. Each and every day, I tried to make some sense of this. Wanting you like this. I know it could be sitting day. Each and every night, I dream about just holding you. Wanting you like this. What is the girl supposed to do? Hey, I love you. Hey, and I'm hearing. Soon as I get home. Hey. I'll make it up to you. Maybe I'll do what I gotta do. Yeah, a male laureate, for real. <clears throat> real. She, she, she be like, um, how the fuck that shit go? I can live, I can love, I can live better with you, with you for real. For real, I can live, I can love, I can be better with you. Like, this person know that they could be better with you. Like I said, it's about the pressure that this man is putting on this feminine. Like, this man is like... You... Like we know you want some, some of that good loving. Emperor in reverse. Pentacles. Like he not right now he I don't something about he not feeling like his higher self or something. But yeah, he more he's so focused on the money that he ain't even realizing how he making you feel. Is what I'm hearing. Like, cause the emperor is tapped in with his feminine energy too. This King of Pentacles, he's so tapped into his masculine, like he not really tapped into his feminine like that. Cause he all about the motherfucking. If it ain't got nothing to do with the fertility of this money, he don't give a fuck. Like, he but that, like I said, that's the hard time. But your baby gonna be born with a silver spoon in his mouth. But like I said, like you still you can't just treat people like that. You can't just treat people like that. You can't you can't do that. How is this baby mama feeling about her baby daddy right now? How is this baby mama feeling about her baby daddy right now? Romantic feeling. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Yeah, like this baby mama probably feel dumb or like confused because she like it's just like a lot going on. very soon okay so this feminine is holding back like his romantic feels there but this feminine is holding back yeah this feminine is confused about the connection confused about how everything is playing out so one for the like hold on <laughs> we gotta <laughs> hold up one second how else is she feeling about this baby daddy it closed me yeah she just um stands still for real Okay, so we got how the baby daddy feel, we got how the baby mom feel, we got how the kids is gonna be, you know, popping up in the picture. We got some uh behind closed doors energy. All right, let's get some motivational messages for mama. Oh, what will feminine be? <laughs> what energy will feminine be putting masculine in for playing these games? What energy 
Well, feminine be giving masculine for playing these games. Ooh. Touche. Touche. Mmm. Oh, touche, 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 touche. Oh, my God. Okay. So, this feminine, I'm like, oh, you want to play with me? Well, I'm going to play games, too. You want to have friends? I'm going to have friends, too. And guess what? You're not going to get no loving. I'm seeing on Wolf on Wall Street when she was telling him he couldn't get none. She's going to be walking around the house with no panties and stuff on. All right? Okay, so this marriage, this contract, it's up in shambles right now. It's up in shambles right now because this man's strength, this man's strength, this man's ego and everything got a little bit hit. Okay, cater to my man, that's his child. Okay, and this man is not holding on to his pinnacles because he going he gonna to give him, I'm here, baby, give it all to me, ooh, ooh. Ooh, I'm really gonna give your love to me. Sean Paul and Keisha Cole. Yeah, it ain't gonna be no more fight in this. Ain't nobody gonna be no more fights about this. Like, this man gonna start standing up for you. He gonna start pouring more back into the relationship. Ain't gonna be the, just money, 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 money. This person ain't going to be flaunting people in your face or doing certain little things to make you feel insecure. Especially after you stop putting that loving on him. And he get that karma back for hurting you. Oh, he really going to be like, yeah, let me get my act right. Because the tables had to turn and had to get illuminated on the other side. And you tell him, oh, I'm not going to argue with you. I'm just, like you said, you're going to mirror it back to him. You didn't fuss, you didn't fight, you didn't argue. You just simply mirrored it back. Go check out the last couple Spirit Baby readings. Yeah, this Knight of Wands. He ain't trying to come in slow with the wang and have you as an option or a number and all this no more. And then you would have upgraded from just the girlfriend or fling to now you're a baby mama the mother his child like he can't he can't come in there with that energy like that ain't no way he gonna have to come correct or he ain't he ain't fuck on you at all damn near ain't gonna be able to see the baby like i said it's being mirrored back to him. Now he wants to give back to you, but it's slowly. And then he's going to be looking like, damn, did it work? Did my little effort work? Like, did did, did I put a, um, I'm hearing, I put a spell on you and now you're mine. I put a spell on you for all time. Okay, you might be fucking with a vampire or some shit. But yeah, this person gonna come in like, okay, I brought you this this for you and the baby and there's some extras type of shit or um get packed with stuff. I, I bought a house, like y'all don't gotta live there no more. Like I'm not gonna be there like that, but I got a key just in case, or do you want me to have a key? I don't wanna overstep like this person, like you gonna be good and your baby gonna be good, but like y'all relationship gonna be kinda like rocky because of the stuff that done happened. Okay. Hangman in reverse. Yeah, there's no thinking about it. Nine of Wands in reverse. There's no more hiding behind this work. There's no more hiding behind these women and lies and all that. Like, there's no more being in your head about what I'm going to lie about next. Like, everything's out in the open. Like I said, High Priest in reverse. Like, this person know who you is. Like, they, they can't get one up over you. There's no getting over on you. There's no point of being in their head. To make up all this illusion because they already know you're gonna see right through it and bounce that shit right back to their ass. 
So it says selling the calmer waters, they just sit in there with their tail between their legs. I'm here instead of selling the calmer waters, they just sit in there with like a t with the, with their tail between their legs. Or like with this tail between their legs, they like they trying to act like this sex is gonna fix everything. When I'm hearing tail between their legs, like they think sex is gonna fix everything. They don't wanna argue. They wanna charm and sweet talk you over. Like I said, page of pentacles. They wanna gift you shit. And be like, oh, did that work? Did that work? Like, instead of actually fixing the situation, instead of actually communicating on the situation, yeah. But this King of Cups, Ace of Cups in reverse. This person just, like, they have more than enough to give. Let's put it like that. Jupiter Love, Trey Songs. I'm hearing Holly if you need me by Trey Songs as well. This person has more than enough. But it's something about it's something about the way it's something about the who you are and the way you are with them. They give you a hard time. And I'm hearing this person can already have kids and you don't. They want you to like. I'm not saying like disturb your life and try to take over your life, but it's something about like a jealousy with. Like, them people that have more than you or do better than you, but they want to have control over you, like... And I say, you fucking with a vampire or something. Yeah, but this Ace of Swords in reverse, like, they know they can't defeat you. They know whatever they pour in your cup, your cup is still gonna run over because they know they give you a bullshit offer any fucking way, and that's pissing them off, too. Like, whether they help you with this child or not, they know you're still gonna be good. And then they're going to look stupid to have all of this wealth and shit and not help you. And it's known that this child is 99.99% .99 theirs. So it's like you putting them in this place where it's like they have to be in front. I'm hearing just be a man about it. Just be a man about it, baby. And I'm hearing, um, I'm hearing cry. Nobody's off limits, not even your friends. She was like, I'm about to go in. I'm about to go. I'm a, she was like, I'm probably going to let you know the truth. I'm going to try to hurt you too. It feels so damn good to be cold. And I don't give a damn who knows. I'm going to let them rub my body, touch my body. Um. Find it so it's hope sure you find it. How you gonna flip? Boy, you been with that body. You started, I'm gonna finish. Made that bed. Now you can lie in it. You won't suffer. You won't suffer. Hey, 3808. For all that you did. I ain't bitter. Stay with her. Maybe she gonna take your shit. You gonna cry. Hey, for everything you did. Hey. <sighs> now, y'all, whoever you and your baby daddy is, is crazy. I'm glad I ain't got no kids. The baby, but hold oh, listen, let me not talk to you soon because y'all are you fucking so like. Baby, because uh, I done went back and look at some readings that I did from years ago, and I'm just like, I know you motherfucking like. <laughs> we gonna close this out, y'all. We did it. We have like did it 40 minutes. We had 39:03 on the quiz line. Okay, can I get a motivational message for mommy? Yeah. This card keeps coming up on time, and I've been trying to shuffle the shit, but I guess they're gonna take it. When my baby cries, I respond with care. It's not your fault when baby cries, and it's okay to have a wide range of emotions when you hear those heart wrenching wails. Sometimes baby wants to communicate hunger, exhaustion, or soiled diaper. Other times, baby is overstimulated and needs a release. Sometimes we don't know why baby is crying, and maybe baby doesn't know either. Crying is one of baby's ways to say, Mama, I need you. Take a deep breath and respond with love. And I was going to say, yeah, and some, I'm hearing some of y'all don't want your baby on pacifiers and stuff like that and all that. And some of y'all, y'all do everything and your baby still cry. You have to learn your baby has gas and certain stuff. Burp your baby even if you, if you didn't feed the baby. 
Rub the baby's stomach. Baby, I got gas. Rub your baby's stomach. Massage their stomach. Give them back massages. Rub their feet. Give them a spa day. Take them outside. Give them some fucking vitamin D. Um, Bring them around other fucking babies and put them on the carpet. You know what I'm saying? Like, you have to do other things with kids. Just like how you get bored. Shit, infants get bored too. You think just because they sit near and ain't been in the world that long that they don't get fucking bored? They do. <laughs> <laughs> you think they back don't hurt and shit? It does. They've been cramped up in the fucking belly for I don't know how long. They and then they they having growing pains. Rub their kneecaps. Rub their ankles. Give them a head massage. Shit, give, give them a spa day and wash their hair and shit, and give them bubble bath. Shit, you getting a bubble bath? What they got? Can we get a motivational message for daddy? Can we get a motivational message for daddy? I focus on what's most important. So, yeah, this man is focused on that bag. I keep fucking trying to tell y'all. It's crazy because, like I said, this man is on here. He love you to death. And then y'all putting the baby down there. Okay? Like, he just want to get close to you. Like, he's trying to get back to that place where y'all made this baby. Okay? But right now, he's focused on what's most important. It says, embrace the chaos, mama. Newborn life is topsy-turvy ride. Just when you think you got the rhythm down, everything changes again. Resist the urge to control it. Focus on the love between you and your baby and let the rest go. One day, your house will be me and your to-do list will be on point. But now is not that time. Relish in the this early postpartum life. Like I said, it's a postpartum rhythm. Fill uh, with the oxytonium boosting kisses and cuddles. Try not to rush it or... Wish it away. It's too precious to miss. Yeah, be careful what you wish for. Came out as well. So with daddy is saying like, he's going through chaos too. He's going through the motions as well. So he knows it can be topsy-turvy. He's focused on this bag right now to make sure y'all straight. Whether you, you're going to be one he married, be with or not. Like he's going to make sure that y'all good regardless. But he does want to get back close to you. He does want more kids with you. He does want this thing with you. And also, like, this is him seeing how you are under this pressure. And uh, like I said, this man knows he done put you under so much pressure. That's why he's trying to give you certain little things. But at the same time, it's off this place on Earth. Escape. This song keeps coming up. This song. But, um, yeah, like, it's a lot of emotion and passion and shit there. Now is not the time to be focused on that, though. I'm hearing because your body is healing. It's not time to be focused on all that arguing and being in an uproar. Your baby is so little and can feel that. Like, it's a, it, like he not saying, like, he's going to brush it off and don't consider your feelings. But it's a time and a place for that. And the time is not right now while your body is healing. He's trying to get this bag for y'all and this baby is this little is what I'm hearing, like, point blank, period, like, y'all gonna have to wait these three months or something like that, and you had that conversation, whatever the fuck, and so, and if this is your first child, he wants you to be able to have that bonding experience, and that chill experience while you can relax, and he can go but, um, yeah, you already know, it's Melon Nation, Melon Gang, Melon Pot, Melon Ticket, but, period of um, it is a little bit longer of a read. It's 43, 45, which is on my clock. I, 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 and the time is 827. Again, it is 1018, October 18th. All right. All right, all right, all right. I'm seeing that 828 as well. <laughs> Period. That's why in flame, y'all gotta get that spark back. Y'all gotta get that spark back. Okay, and y'all be just fine. If um y'all do get that time to go take that honeymoon, go take it. Um, if this man is really showing you, because I'm seeing um obsessed when um, Beyonce put Idris Elba out the house like for months and he was begging to come back. But he had money. And she was his at home wife. And he still made sure they was good, still came back his baby and all of that. Until she let him back. And that man really wasn't doing nothing. Really wasn't messing with nobody. Okay. So I'm seeing some shit like that. Like make him put in the work for playing with you. Like. 
Nobody's a banana fuck that man fridge, y'all. But I can't tell y'all what to do because I don't know what this man done did to y'all. So, like, I don't know. But y'all already know. It's Melanation on the game. I'm a OP. Yay. Gracias, muchos. I like. And you already know. It's Melanation on the game. I'm a pop. Melanation taking over. P. Ciao. I can't talk to you. I love you, babies. I'll see you in the next one.